Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Trey the DIY Ninja and today I'm going to show you how I have made a modified, revised version of the fabric face mask which actually contours to your face so there's no air gaps and it's the most comfortable, it's the easiest to wear and breathe and it's super simple to make so let's get started okay what you will need for this project is a sewing machine or you can also do this by hand but if you have a sewing machine it would be way faster i have some fabric clips here just to hold everything in place it's not really mandatory but it does help i have some scissors here some fabric cutting scissors if you don't have fabric cutting scissors you can just use any kind of scissors or cutting apparatus i have my elastic leggings i have my straps made out of my leggings which is just a cotton spandex blend and when you cut the legs like this on the ankles and keep going up um and then you pull them they turn into this so actually two strips is just one circle from leggings so you actually get a lot of material after you stretch it out definitely recommend this method one because it's a lot more comfortable and two it's a lot cheaper than buying elastic and three elastic is so hard to find these days that this is a great alternative if you haven't seen my previous video I'll show you I'll show you exactly how to make these in detailed step by steps in my first face mask face mask video which I will link up top in a card now you're gonna you need um, fabric. I have 100% cotton twill fabric in a 10 by 10 inch square that I folded twice so that it has become one fourth its size, which means it's double. It's gonna be this mask is going to be double layered, and I have the folded pleats, the folded parts on this right angle on the left here. So this has a fold, this has a fold, this is open, and this is open. And this is my face mask of the original design that I just came up with, which is like, it's really simple. But the good thing about this new mask design is that it's universal, it will fit everyone. And look at that. It's so clean up top that you don't need to fold this fabric down to fit your nose. And you don't need a wire because it just contours directly to your face. You have room for your nose and your mouth to rest comfortably and you can also you wear this two ways you can either make you can make an air loop because this whole band is stretchy so you can make an air loop to go around your ears or you can tie it around your head like this all you do is fit on your head tie it once and then it stretches so you just pull it over you don't have to keep tying it over and over again. So that is the main plus of this new mask. It's a little easy to make, it's faster, and it's more comfortable and it's, a, it's more versatile. So let's get started. So off of my original design here that I, I figured out, I came up with a template and I just use um, stabilizer. You can use paper because I just don't have paper and this one's just what I have handy. You can use anything, cardboard, cardstock, paper, and make a template. I'm going to show you how to make your template on your square here. Actually, I can probably just fold this. This paper was a little longer. Okay, so on your square here, you're going to just imagine kind of like an axe. Doesn't this look like the blade of an axe? You're going to, this is your nose bridge, your nose point, and just cut a slight angle of this corner off. And do the same, a uh, smaller angle on this corner here on the bottom. And this part is optional. You can cut a little bit here for it to curve up around your face. And you're going to make this curve here very extreme to curve around your cheek from your nose to your cheek to your ear. So here you go, you can just, um, pause the video here and take a screenshot if you need to to just follow this pattern I don't have this digitized I literally just came up with it right now so um, yeah we're going to just it's really simple just you know just cut if you're not positive on the shape just cut less and that way you can when you sew it you can always just modify it later if you need to so I use the clip to clamp my pattern down on this fabric and remember the open sides are on the right so you're going to have four layers on this side and you're going to have two because they're folded here on this side 
Actually, just one, two on the bottom. Okay, so now we're just gonna cut this out and we'll show you the next step. Oops. Okay, so I just cut out the mask. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be sewing and I believe you can leave as much seam allowance as you want, but just make sure when you cut your pattern to adjust for the seam allowance. I'm probably going to be doing like three fourths seam allowance. Okay, so now, Depending on how you cut it, if you cut this part down or not, you either have four pieces or two. I left mine there because I'm just going to sew over it. And now you're going to decide which side is your the side that you want facing the outside. So I'm going to say these two kissing sides. Since I have material that looks the same on both sides, if not, you're going to put the wrong sides facing up. Or the inside parts that no one wants that no one will see facing you and facing touching the table okay so you want the pretty sides kissing each other okay and now you're going to fold it back once you've determined that you're going to fold it and I'll fold this one to get it ready for later And you're going to fold it and sew down this curve here. Okay, I'm going to do that and then we'll be right back. to the other piece. Okay, so now we have both pieces sewed on the curve here. You're going to take the wrong side of this one, so put it back the way it was before. You're going to put this part that you sewed touching your table. You can just flip it up. And then you're going to layer the second piece with the sewing, the part that you sewed showing up and just line this up together. Here is where the clips come in handy because you can just clip it on the top and clip it on the bottom exactly where you need it to be. You just line this up here. gonna clip this so we have this lined up and you're going to sew the top here and the bottom here okay just the top and the bottom leave the sides open because we need these holes to flip it inside out and then I'll show you how to attach the straps all right I'm gonna sew the top and the bottom we'll be right back So now we have our top and bottom sealed. You're going to take this and push everything through one of the side holes. You can even just shake it if it gets stuck. Kind of like a sock, you know? Uh, did that make sense? Basically flip it inside out. And now I will attach the straps after I get inside out. And once you get it inside out, you're going to want to just kind of like finger press it. You can iron it, but I don't have time to take out my iron right now. But it would be a lot neater and more crisp if you iron it. Or you can just iron it at the end. Whichever is easier for you. Okay. Now, I'm just going to push the seams there together. Looking good. Okay. So again, like I said, I'm going to just finger press the seam. So I'm pulling it so that it will press up against each other. And just finger press that seam down. 
really simple. And it's a lot faster than ironing it, actually. But if you're a perfectionist, you can iron it. Okay, I'm going to do the same for the bottom. I'm going to just pull it. And let's do one side at a time. Just to find that center. Finger press it. And if you hear um, any background noise, sorry, the only chance I get to film is with my child around. Because <laughs> I watch him 24-7 and if you hear any pitter-patter besides um, a child's foot, it's from my dogs. Because they're back home. Little Peach and Anala, if you've been watching me for a long time, you know what they look like. It's a black, he's a black pug, she's a white chihuahua. And they're always together. And they're so cute. Anyways, okay. So there is the shape of your mask. Do you see how it's concave like that? It's so, more, so much more comfortable this way. And way more fitted. So it presses it, creates a seal. Okay. Now for the sides. You can trim these threads. Um, you probably should actually, but... If they're not too bad, just leave them because it's going to be tucked in anyways. Then, what do I do now? Okay, believe. Just double this down. Right, okay. Okay. Now, to adhere the straps, you're going to pick which side of your fabric you want to be the front or the back. So this is going to be the front for me. So I'm going to turn this backwards. Make sure you do this on the back side so that it doesn't show. I'm going to just stick in, oops, I'm going to stick in this here. I'm going to just place a portion of it and then I'm going to fold down. Fold again. Okay. Then, actually, oops, sorry, did that wrong. I'm trying to remember how I did the first one. Okay, so lay your strip, lay your strap in, and then fold and fold, and then fold this back this way. Okay. So. Clip it, but I'm just gonna clip it right now for you. So this is the front, and this is the back. I'm gonna repeat that again. So put this strap there, and then just fold it, fold it, fold the strap over so it's facing the right direction. Sorry guys, it's really hard to see black on black but hopefully you get the gist basically we're rolling the fabric in to seal the edges and at the same time we're rolling in the straps and then we're pulling it over the fabric so that it's sticking out this way at the end yes and then you can even stretch it extra and it will get even longer here we go doesn't that look nice Okay, so what I'm going to do, you're going to repeat the same on this side, but what I'm going to do now that this is here, I'm going to just hold it down and I'm going to just do a little placement tack in the meantime just to hold this down. There's another useful tip, when you're doing the second side, make sure when you fold it, and fold it in half that they are the same so they're even on both sides okay hey guys so once you do that you're basically done what I like to do is just take this stretch it out as far as I can and just make a little knot at the end and push this knot as far towards the end of the mask as I can okay just to seal up these ends make it look a little bit more perfect. 
professional. So just do this to all four sides. Okay. And this is probably like the neatest looking mask I've made because there's a lot less steps and there's a lot less stitching. So this is the simplest, fastest way I figured out how to do this. This side is just a little bit like Okay. So here we go. Look at that. So once again, you can tie this around your ears if you need to. If you want to wear it as an ear mask. Or you can tie it around your head of which I'm going to do just to show you what it's like and I'll try this on for you guys so you can see how well it fits all right guys here is the finished face mask you see it fits so well I'm so comfortable I like to wear the top strap like over my ears and then the bottom strap around my neck but yeah don't mind my hair I just took it out of a bun so it's a little crazy but yeah I can breathe and it fits so well here there are no gaps on the nose part, so you don't need extra material for a wire or anything like that. And yeah, if you weren't filming a tutorial, this would go by so fast. But yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me. Hopefully this video was helpful. Remember to subscribe, ring the bell to be notified of when I post next, and leave a comment down below of uh, what you think about this mask or any suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching us. Oh, thumbs up this video too. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.